Let's take a look. So let's take a look at the following example that deals with three different particle interactions and our goal is to use the laws of conservation that we learned to determine which one of these reactions or interactions will actually take place in nature. And let's begin with interaction A. So in part A, on the left side, we have a sigma. On the right side, we have a neutral as well as a pion. So the question is, is the barium number conserved? Well, the barium number for the sigma is positive 1, and the barium number for our neutron is also positive 1. Now, this is not a barium, and it gets a value of 0. And, and because on the left side we have a positive 1, on the right side we have positive 1 plus 0, we see that positive 1 is equal to positive 1, and so the barium number is in fact conserved. What about the lepton number? Well, notice none of these particles are leptons, and that means that on the left side we have a zero, on the right side we have a zero, and so the lepton number is also conserved. What about the electric charge? Well, we have a positive one on the sigma and a positive one on the pion. And so that means we have a positive one which is equal to positive one. And so the barium number, the lepton number, and the charge are all conserved. And assuming that the energy and momentum are also conserved, then this reaction will take place. What about part B? Well, now we have a slight different reaction. We now have a lambda that decays into these two pions. So we have a pion with a positive and a pion with a negative. So the pion positive and the pion negative are basically not baryons. So they both get a barium number of zero. However, the lambda gets a positive one. And we see that positive one is not equal to zero plus zero, and that means the barium number is not conserved and this reaction will not take place. But let's finish the lepton and charge and see if these are conserved. Well, the lepton number, well, none of these are leptons once again, and so we see that zero does equal to zero and the lepton number is conserved. What about the charge? We have a zero charge on this side and a positive one minus one and a zero on the right side because positive one minus 1 gives a 0 and so we see the charge does in fact conserve but because the barium number isn't conserved reaction B will not take place now, what about C? Well, we have omega, so this gets a positive 1 for the baryon number. We have a positive 1 here. What about on this side? Well, we have this, which also gets a positive 1, but this is not a baryon, so that will get a 0. And we see plus 1 plus 0 gives us a plus 1, and the baryon number is conserved. What about the lepton number? Well, this isn't a lepton, this isn't a lepton, and this isn't a lepton as well. So we have zero is equal to zero, so this is conserved. What about the charge? Well, on this side we have a negative, on this side we have a negative, so we see that our charge is also conserved. And so, because all these are conserved, and we're assuming the momentum and energy is also conserved, we see that C will take place, A will take place, but B does not take place, primarily because the barium number is not conserved in that uh, particle interaction. Particle, particle.